up? It is Jaws here, and today I'm going to be doing my top five most anticipated games of 2016. But before we get into the top five, I want to talk about the game of the year situation. Now, personally, I thought throughout the whole year, I was thinking Uncharted 4 was going to get game of the year because, like, it was just absolutely amazing. The graphics were amazing. The storyline was amazing. Everything about the game was good, except for the multiplayer. I mean, that was kind of underrated. No, overrated. And it was a bit, yeah. But other than that, it was still an absolutely brilliant game, which is why, personally, I think that should have got game of the year. Um, another thing which kind of shocked me about it is that it was close, but it wasn't the game of the year, which is why I wanted to talk about it, because, so, it got voted the best action game of 2016, which is, which is very good, because, obviously, it's it was an action game, and it was also a puzzle and stuff like that, but I, I did get quite annoyed about how Uncharted 4 didn't get game of the year, and Overwatch got game of the year. Now, some people in my class are probably going to hate on me for saying this, but... I, I really do not like Overwatch right now, and I've played it, and I think it's absolutely shocking, okay? But, because compared to Uncharted 4, that game was like... <coughs> but Uncharted 4 is absolutely amazing, and I absolutely love that game. I don't really know why they didn't give it Game of the Year, to be honest, because... Like, it was just, it has such a powerful storyline to it, it had such a powerful meaning to the story, and, and it was the last game in the series as well, and, but, oh well, I suppose, I suppose we could really say that, but, yeah, so, the game of the year situation was kind of a bit annoying for me, personally, but, oh well. So guys, the main purpose of this video was to tell you guys my top 5 most anticipated games for 2016. So let's get straight into it. See you guys later.